First tonight, though, communities across the East Midlands are responding to the Syrian refugee crisis after the Prime Minister announced that thousands more people will be accepted into the UK. Churches across the region are being asked to welcome migrants. Meanwhile, parishioners in Lincolnshire are collecting clothes for those in need. And at a vigil tonight in Nottingham, two large local councils are being urged to accept 100 new arrivals. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, is in the old Market Square. Yes, Dominic, behind me, just setting up for that latest village, uh, vigil to show support for those Syrian refugees. There was a similar event in Leicester yesterday, and in towns and villages across the East Midlands, communities are coming together as well. In the Deepings in Lincolnshire, volunteers at one aid appeal say they've been overwhelmed by people's generosity, as Victoria Hicks reports. It has been amazing. We have had dozens and dozens and dozens of bags. This has just come in this morning from Oakham. But wait till you see what we've got inside. As you can see, we've been completely overwhelmed. We've had everything. We've got blankets, we've got warm clothes, we've got children's clothes, toys. And we're to the point now we can't really take any more. This aid appeal has captured people's hearts here in the Deepings and they've given generously, not just rummage, but their time and resources. After seeing the images last week on the um, television of the boys in Turkey, it really struck a chord with me and just thought, actually, rather than just filling a bag, maybe I can drive my car over because it's really big, I could fit a lot in there and that would be a more proactive way that I can help um, the refugees in Calais. Now volunteers here at St Guthlax in Market Deeping and the Priory Church in Deeping St James are sorting and bagging the aid. Some donations a little more unusual than others. We have had a few strange items. We've had some oven gloves and some wedding hats. Um, but really what we need at the moment are men's clothes, uh, warm and waterproof and men's boots and shoes um, and really just somewhere to store them, so storage boxes. Once it's all packed up, they'll drive to Calais a week today to link up with a collection point there. Victoria Hicks, BBC East Midlands Today, Lincolnshire. Well, of course, today we've heard that the government's going to uh, take in up to 20,000 Syrian nationals over the next few years. Now they're going to come directly from refugee camps to avoid encouraging those people smugglers. And to put these figures into perspective, we're talking really about one refugee for every 3,000 or so people who live in this country. And individuals are doing their own thing as well. This hosting scheme in Leicester and Nottingham has been running for several years. Now though, more people are offering their spare rooms for refugees and asylum seekers. And uh, today, every Catholic parish in the East Midlands has received a letter from the bishop urging them to welcome refugees from war. Well, for more on tonight's event, let's talk to Louise Regan, who's organising the event. What are you hoping to achieve here, Louise? Tonight is about raising awareness amongst the people in Nottingham, encouraging them to get involved in the campaign, to support, to share their support and solidarity with the refugees. And you've been joined by some of the Syrians who've already been given refugee status. Adel, I know you've proved your right to settle here now, but only after you had to use a people smuggler to make that treacherous journey into Britain. So do you think the Prime Minister's plan is going to stop people having to make that same journey? I don't think it's going to stop people from crossing this uh, or making this risk journey, but for, for a bit it's helping people to, uh, to, to think about it before doing like this because there is a, some decision like this decision from Britain or from Germany to uh, make people think about this before they make their risk journey. And you're very grateful, aren't you, to people for helping you here? Yeah, of course. I'm very grateful for Britain, for everybody, who, uh, every people who are helping me and uh, anyone who gave me the permission to stay in Britain. The council here, thanks Adel, the council here says it does want to help those Syrian refugees but it can't commit to any numbers until there's clarity about what funding it might get from the government. So I think you can expect a, a bit of a political tussle ahead. Mm. OK, Jeremy Ball, thank you. Hundreds upon hundreds gave up their evening to show their support. The message here in Nottingham's Market Square, refugees welcome. For Sal, it was intensely personal. Her father came here on the kinder transport. The rest of his family all died in the Nazi concentration camps. 
It's very emotional, the whole family being wiped out. It's not a theoretical, you know, political conundrum. This is about real people, real individuals, and we should be supporting them as people kindly supported my dad and made sure my family survived. As you can see, we've been completely overwhelmed. And here at the Deepings in Lincolnshire, village churches have been inundated with donations for refugees in Calais. After seeing the images last week on the um, television of the boys in Turkey, it really struck a chord with me and just thought, actually, rather than just filling a bag, maybe I can drive my car over because it's really big, I could fit a lot in there. It's better than Arabian countries who stop. And back in Nottingham, they heard from Adel, a Syrian who risked his life to travel here using people smugglers before proving his right to stay as a refugee. So will accepting more Syrians from camps abroad stop people using smugglers? It's a good idea, but I don't think it's going to stop people from crossing the dangerous uh, journey or making this big risk in this journey. There was a brief interruption from a heckler, a reminder that some don't want more refugees here, but it was over very quickly. There's no doubting the strength of feeling here, but now there are going to be hard political arguments about where the new refugees are going to go. And tonight, the leader of Derbyshire County Council has offered to set up a temporary reception centre and thank people in her area who've offered rooms in their homes to refugees. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottingham.